Hi folks, let's play Up a Lazy Ocean. This is a game that was highlighted by uh, by Cactus actually at a recent uh, game uh, design sort of uh, conference or presentation, if you will. And Cactus's name uh, shows up a lot lately in discussions about indie gaming, and I believe rightly so because he's uh, he tries hard to make uh, all of his games kind of innovative or creative in some uh, different kind of special way. So. Let's go ahead and run the game. Let's see, so we're playing up a lazy ocean. So that's, uh, uh, yep, that's six characters. Total1.exe. And there we go. And it made the window all the way down here. All right. And let me go ahead and recenter the window somewhat. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, good enough. All right, here we go. So this is a lazy ocean. So the game is very simple uh, in its presentation. Obviously, uh, you play this little um, sailing boat on a lazy ocean, and there's a bird flying overhead, and there are occasional clouds passing overhead. The time is completely irrelevant. This is actually kind of a. It's almost like a red herring because you look at the time and you might think that it actually signifies something. It really doesn't. It's really just telling you what you're computer's system time is, so you can just disregard that. Uh, I believe the game does have actually a, a day-night toggle, such that if the, t if the time is during the day, then it'll appear day, but right now it's rendering it as night time, so it has all these stars in the sky. So anyway, I really like the, the visual look of this game. It reminds me of the old, um, the, the games they made for the original Macintosh, like the, the really original black and white uh, Macintosh that had the screen built into this, the CPU casing. That was... Uh, uh, I'm not too fond of Macintosh as today, to be perfectly honest, but th that was actually a, a nice computer and they made some really nice games for it. Anyway, so this is... Um, yeah, this is uh, a lazy ocean and basically we're just sailing on the ocean. Now this counter up here, 0 out of 5, that's basically how many endings there are in the game. There are 5 endings that you can find in the game and your goal is to find all 5 of them. So let's go. Basically, um, the game is completely controlled with the mouse, so you can see if you click the mouse here and there, it makes your little boat fire bullets. I have no idea why the boat has a gun on it, but um, there you go. That's basically, that's most of what you can do with the game. Now, you might notice there's a bird flying overhead, so the obvious thing to do is to try to shoot the bird, right? Oh, there we go. Um, it actually didn't show it because uh, it was already off on the left-hand side of the screen, but we just found the brutality ending. And now it says press R to restart. So, yeah, you can do that. Press R to restart the game. Let me see if I can... There we go. See, the bird flies all the way in. The bird kind of glides all the way into the water and then crashes. All right, so that's one of the five endings. Um, that's probably the most obvious ending. And there are a few others, obviously. Um, after kind of throwing your bullets around for a while, you might start to wonder what happens if you shoot yourself, like I just did accidentally. That gives you the sunken ending, so there you go. The third ending that most people find is uh, this one. If you click on the cloud, you can kind of drag off a little puff of cloudiness with it, and basically it doesn't seem to do much if you try to cloud up the bird or any other part of the sky, or the water for that matter. But you can drag the cloud onto your boat, and for whatever reason, it turns into a floating city with a smokestack on it. We've just found the industrial ending. So there we go. So we found the um, brutality ending by shooting the bird. We found the um, sunken ending by shooting ourselves. And we found the industrial ending by uh, turning our boat into a floating industrial city. <clears throat> yeah, it makes sense, I promise. In some parallel universe, it makes sense. I know it does. Um, and these are the three endings that most people find. Now, the, the other endings are a little bit trickier uh, because there doesn't really seem to be that much else to interact with. Um, and a hint uh, regarding one of the mm, more obscure endings, uh, it's called bird watching. And so, not surprisingly, it does involve that bird. But you don't shoot it. You just do this. You just kind of stalk it or harass it with your cursor. And there you go, you just found the bird watching it. And you have to follow it for maybe half the screen or or so. And then you get the, the bird watching ending. So there you go, we found four or five endings, uh, four or five outcomes for a lazy ocean. And now, 
what shall we do for the fifth ending? I mean, we've you know we've already done something with the cloud. We've done two things with the bird. I think we've pretty much exhausted that bird by now. I don't think we can do anything with the clock. Can we do anything with the boat or the water? I think we're kind of at a loss. I think we might just have to resign this game because I don't think we can ever find the fifth ending now. It seems like we're just... Oh, hey. Check it out. It's, uh... Suddenly there are all these patches of cloud and fog that have appeared. And hey, we found, uh, we found the fifth ending. It's, uh... Amazingly enough, because of the way the font is rendered, I honestly can't tell if that's supposed to say Foggy Day or Foggy Bay. I, I suspect it's probably, I think it's Foggy Day, with a D as in Delta, um, but I guess nothing is certain, right? And there you go. That's, uh, that's Foggy Day, or Foggy Bay, whichever you prefer. And if you press R, unfortunately, you can't get that ending again. You can get the other endings. You can, you know, you can bird watch or turn yourself, turn yourself into the city again, but you can't actually, um, for some reason, the foggy day doesn't show up. I think it's because in an earlier version of this game, there was a bug in which you could keep getting the foggy day ending, and that would result in you getting theoretically unlimited endings, because you could just you know count this up to get 6 out of 5, 7 out of 5, 8 out of 5. Some people just got basically as many endings as they wanted, because they, they clearly didn't have enough to do. Um, not like me. I do great, important things like make videos about this game. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, folks. I guess that's it. That's uh, pretty much all there is to this game. I hope you've enjoyed watching uh, Up a Lazy Ocean. I know I enjoyed playing it, and thank you very much to the author uh, of the game. The game is so modest it doesn't even credit itself. The author didn't even put his name anywhere in the game, but uh, thank you to the uh, indie game creator who created this uh, very happy, very cheerful little uh, sailing game. Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. Again, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in a later bit, uh, later video. Bye for now.